Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in with me again. I am so excited for today's video. I've watched a million of these ever since I decided I would try to apply for nursing school and it is finally my turn. So today's video obviously by the title is a nursing school supply haul and y'all, I definitely have some things to share, some things I'm really excited about, some things that I have heard good things about, some things that I just honestly was curious about and wanted to try. So. Now, it is at the beginning of December and I don't start school until the middle of January, but I wanted to go ahead and get a lot of my supplies out of the way because we are in the Christmas season and I wanted to kind of get my real responsibilities out of the way so that I would know exactly what I had available to spend on gifts for my family and my friends. Um, so I don't want to keep this intro too long. I do want to say that if you have already been through a nursing program or if you are preparing to enter and start a program, please don't be shy and leave a comment of things that you've heard great recommendations about, things that you highly recommend or things that you recommend to stay away from. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Okay. So the first category that we're going to start with is the note taking category. These categories are in no particular order. I'm just going with the boxes that are closest to me and just pulling things out of each box as I touch them, basically. Um, I will include all of the links to everything that I purchased online in the description box. Things that I bought in store are just your basic things. Um, so I'm not going to include links for them, but I will have the prices of everything on the screen as I talk about them. All right, so the first thing that I got, I just got some note cards. Now, these are not the only note cards that I got. I did get these larger note cards because mm, I'm not sure, honestly, I just wanted to be prepared. I also got the smaller ones, of course. Um, let's see. So I got like three packs of these uh, smaller, like normal size uh, note cards. So the three by five inch note cards. And then I just got one pack of the five by eight inch because I wasn't really sure, obviously, would I get use out of these? These, if I don't really get use out of the large ones, I'm honestly just gonna cut them in half and just use them as smaller ones. So it really isn't a big deal to me, but I did get, like I said, three packs of the three by fives and then one pack of the five by eights. So along with those note cards, I did get two note card boxes just so I don't have to keep them. I don't have to worry about losing them all the time and I don't have to keep them like with a rubber band around it. I just got something just to hold, um, hold them. Really the note taking category, honestly, y'all is very self-explanatory. It's not too much to say about anything. Okay. Alrighty, now I have heard a lot of things about just, um, or a lot of people recommend getting like a small little book for, or notebook for clinical. Now I did get one, but I got them in the index card shape or I guess format. So like this. So the reason why I did that is because I kind of have, well, I don't want to say kind of, I do have big handwriting. So I just thought that it would be a little bit more helpful for me to have a notebook that was wider um, than long, um, just because of how large my handwriting is. So obviously it's just your personal preference. And I did like the fact that these uh, have colors in them as well. And I just got three of these. Now, some of these things, obviously, I may or may not um, use completely during my first semester, but whatever I don't use, obviously, I can continue to hold on to. No, no big deal. Um, the next thing that I got are these big pastel highlighters. These actually came from Amazon, so they come in, I don't know if they come in 12 different colors, but... Um, Let's see. No, there are 12 highlighters in here, but they're actually really, really cute, y'all. Um, and I've actually never seen the pastel 
highlighters in store here now maybe you guys have but they're just so cute they're like little easter colors they actually look brighter on camera they look more like neon honestly but they're really not they're like this is like a, honestly like a baby pink like a powder pink and then like a lilac there's like a, a mint green and then like a baby blue super cute like a peach color so yeah um let me go ahead and say a lot of these things are going to be pink and like neutral or like shades of brown because like those are my two favorite colors um always have been since the beginning of time don't know but yeah that's kind of what happened but i did pick up also these paper made mechanical pencils these are the only mechanical pencils that i use i actually do prefer wooden pencils but I don't really have time to be sharpening a pencil, obviously. And honestly, I doubt that I even will be using pencils all that much. But in the event that I do use a pencil, I went ahead and just picked this 36 pack of pencils up. These are the ones that look like the wooden pencils. I love these, y'all. They're so cute. And then I just picked these um, erasers up from Target. These, they sell them at Walmart too, but these are actually very high quality erasers i've actually been using these ever since the fourth grade because we had an exchange student when i was in the fourth freaking grade from taiwan her name was peggy i will never forget it and she used to always um use this when she drew like you know doodled in class and i don't know why i thought it was so weird back then and i remember like asking her like why do you always carry these erasers around and she let me borrow one one day and i was like this eraser is like elite okay i literally remember that from the fourth grade and ever since then i have always used these erasers these are excellent erasers and they were only like two dollars okay let's move on so then i just picked up these paper mate gel pens in an assorted variety yeah i thought i had two packs no i didn't but yeah so i didn't i thought i did i probably will order another pack um, but these pens are so amazing. They're so smooth and the colors are so bright. I actually have some that I'm using now because I don't know if you guys know, but I do like have a small part-time job just as a server and I live by these pens. They like, I don't know, as y'all get to know me, you'll realize like simple things literally make me the happiest. Like I just love like switching colors up as like for my different tables that I'm using. Like it's just, I don't know it's weird but it's cute to me I don't know but I love these pens they are absolutely amazing like I said they don't dry out very easily I've been using them for years don't dry out easily they write very smooth they're very comfortable the body of the pen so it is plastic but it's not like a hard plastic like you know some things um some pens and pencils as you write make your uh, hands start cramping i've never really experienced that unless i'm writing for a, an extremely long period of time but all right so the next thing that i got are these assorted color felt tip pens and i got two packs of these for multiple reasons so these i love but they do dry out a little bit quicker than like the gel pens so i did get an extra pack but the reason why i got um the felt tip in the first place was because i actually purchased some paper where these would be a little bit better for me to write on um and when i get to it i will make mention of that again so the next thing i got is just this d-ring binder that i got from target so it is i want to say a three inch no it's just a two inch so this is just a two inch binder i probably will end up getting another one obviously after my first semester even if i don't fill it up just because i like to keep things organized so i want to always be able to reference something and know exactly where it is um so I can always just keep this as like my semester one or my block one nursing school binder and then just move on and get a new binder for the next semester. So I just got this. The next thing that I got are the page protectors. So these are just for obviously any handouts, anything that I would want to that doesn't have holes already punched or even if it does, but really just any handouts like syllab um, syllabi, um, 
uh, diagrams, things like that. I'm not quite sure, or just like rubrics, things like that. I'm not quite sure how often we'll get them, but I went ahead and just purchased a 100 count pack. And hopefully that lasts me for a while. Jeez Louise. So I also picked up these cute, super cute um, dividers. They're all like these um, kind of like marbled or tie-dye um, design. Um, and they just come in pink, blue, green, well, like a light blue, green, a purple, and a darker blue. Um, super cute, just kind of like something to keep like, um, handouts in one, in one location, maybe my notes, then maybe like lab things or like clinical documents or like papers that I have to write, whatever I decide to do. Went ahead and just picked these up just in case I have a bunch of different sections that I may need. And then of course, I just got filler paper, um, for my binder. Not that I really plan on using it a lot. One thing that like, when I talked to my sister about it, um, she was just like, I doubt that you will actually end up writing a lot on like that type of paper. And I said, I get it. Obviously a lot is being thrown at you. You won't really have time to like be really writing notes like in class, like detailed notes, at least in class. I said, but for me, the type of person, the type of learner that I am, I have to be physically engaged while I learn. The last learning. thing that I got is this. This is tracing paper, so I don't want to open it um, just because I don't want to like waste a sheet of paper because it's only 75 pieces in there. And they actually, for, I, I, this wasn't expensive, I think it was like $10, but for 75 pieces, to me, that's a little bit on the pricey side. So what I did was, um, but granted, I don't plan on just be, I don't plan to just be drawing all the time, but for a little more complex diagrams, I did get, um, tracing paper so that I can draw it out myself to really understand it. You know what I mean? Instead of just kind of learning by looking at a piece of paper, I want to, like I said, I want to try to be physically engaged so that it sticks because that's just how I learn, um, best. So the next category that we're going to go ahead and do is just the electronics. It's only a couple of things. So I went ahead and just started with this. Now, some of these things aren't necessarily like for nursing school, but they are, if that makes sense. So I went ahead and picked up a new pair of AirPods. Um, I had my first pair and I actually stuck with them for a long time, um, but they were stolen over the freaking summer. I don't know why y'all couldn't go get your own pair, but okay. Anyways, but I just went ahead and repurchased the same pair that I had, the second generations. I wanted to try a newer, um, a newer generation, but my ears, I don't know if it's just because they're small or what, but the egg-shaped earbuds fit best in my ear. I the ones with the little bulbs on the end never stay in my ear. So, and I really wanted to try the pink beats ones and I still may end up purchasing purchasing them because they weren't really expensive. They were cheaper than these, um, but I want to try them. Um, but yeah, so I did want, uh, go ahead and pick up a pair of AirPods. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I do listen to myself talk through my notes sometimes. So this will come in handy, um, but also obviously music. And then I just picked up this case for my AirPods. I just got it in a cute little hot pink. And then I went ahead and purchased a phone case, y'all. So I have had, I have a 13 Pro Max and I've had my phone since June. Um, I have dropped it so many times. It's not cracked on the front or the back, but it does have a few scratches, but you can't really see them. But I say, you know what, before I get to where I'm ripping and running all the time, like I'm obviously like this new job serving and stuff like that. I'm moving around a lot, so yeah, I do need to <laughs> protect my phone. So this one actually came with a screen protector and it has so many different colors. Um, I just got it in this cute little like cafe, like kind of blonde coffee kind of color and it came with a screen protector. I actually didn't even read this, y'all. They have a note in here first of all they try to make it like it was handwritten 
Don't do that. Cause this is typed if I ever saw it. And I'm not gonna read all that either, y'all. This is a lot. This is a lot. I'm not reading all this for a phone case. But thank go. The most exciting electronic that I got. If it'll come out of the box. Hold on, y'all. Okay. so excited i actually went through hell and back or to hell and back through hell and high water to get this baby okay so this is the apple ipad 10th generation y'all like my nails i did it myself y'all i'm trying to cut back on my expenses and i usually get my nails done and i usually get my eyelashes done but y'all i'm wearing strips i was very humble okay when i had to put on these strips because i'm really not the best at it but i'm gonna work on it but yeah and honestly this is bubble bath and i know a lot of people love bubble bath from opi but i didn't know now i get it i get it because after this is my first time having bubble bath on my nails and it already has me in a show cold this is amazing but back to the iPad. <laughs> so I got the Apple iPad, the 10th generation, and of course the color pink. Um, it is so cute. I actually only set up my um, Apple ID to it. I haven't done anything with it. So I probably will um, do like a different video of like how I use my iPad during nursing school. But that is a ways off. So um it may or may not happen. I don't want to be up here lying to y'all. Okay. But yeah, so this is it. And it's more of a, you can see the real color like right here because it still has a paper on it. But it's more of like a watermelon color, like um soft red rather than a, a real pink. But it's still cute. Okay. Super the cute. next category is going to be the nurse specific tools or essentials right so this is a blood pressure cuff i got it actually in pink of course from amazon i haven't even opened it so let me open it So here it is. Oh shoot. Here it is. Okay, and then a little bulby thingy. Y'all, I'm so excited. I need to figure out how to put this back in here because I don't even play like that. This is really why I didn't want to open it because I didn't want to fight to get it back in here. But yeah, so I just got the blood pressure cuff in pink. This one actually came very, they had it in like black, a navy blue, um, and the pink. And it actually came very highly recommended. And I don't know why that surprised me, but it had like 50,000 um, reviews and it was like 4.8 stars. Like it was really good. And I was like, ooh, and I can get it in pink for sure so because i was actually gonna like settle and just get a black one but when i saw this one in a pink i said okay girl all righty so that's that the next thing that i got is just these banded shears with pin lights um it's a set that actually comes with batteries so i'm super excited about really the pin lights y'all Y'all know. But I went ahead and got that. Okay. So the next item is a stethoscope. Funny thing. My sister decided to gift me her Litman. She bought a new one. She was like, 
you can just have my old one like nothing's wrong with it i just wanted a different one she got the same one she got the litman classic three she just got it in a different color so she gifted me her older one before i knew she was gonna gift it to me i ordered one i was like well i just have two so i have two of the litman classic three stethoscopes um this one is purple the one she gifted me is like a pearl purple pearlized purple and then the one that i got is of course y'all the pearl pink okay and i'm pretty sure they but mine came from amazon i'm pretty sure hers came from amazon as well this is so cute. Honestly, the camera makes it look a little bit darker than what it is, but it is a super cute, like baby pink with a pearlized effect on it. It's so cute, super cute. All right, so that is it for like the nursing, like essential um things. And then I have some things that will be in my skills kit, but I won't. We are purchasing our skills kit when I go to orientation, which would be next week. So, so the next category and the last category, no, I'm lying. The next to last category um, is my wearables category. These I'm kind of going to fly through. So these, I just got some disposable masks. Okay. I may have went a little bit overboard because I did get them in pink. Okay. But, you know, it's so cute. I'm going to pull one out. Oh, no, I'm not. Because they're wrapped. But, yeah. I just got this little 100 count of pink disposable face mask. And I went ahead. The reason why it's not like this. I know people be like, girl, you are just really wasting your money. But, not really. The reason why, first of all, I always keep masks anyway. Like, I actually buy masks. And the at Sam's, I want to say the the mask that I get is around a hundred for like eleven ninety two. Um, these were eleven ninety nine, so I was like, I'll just get the one hundred mask for the basically the same price. So it really wasn't a huge difference. Then I did get this backpack. Now it is still in the um, packaging, but. I will insert a clip and it's actually quite large and roomy. Um, some of this stuff, the reason why I haven't opened it is because I probably will make separate videos for like a what's in my bag and things like that. I'm not quite sure, but I may. Um, but yeah, so I did get this. It's actually a laptop bag. So you can, it has a separate compartment for a laptop. You can actually hold it like this um, or you can actually wear it as a backpack. Um, it is like a pale pink or like a really like a mauve kind of color, but it's super cute and it's actually quite sizey. So then I'm just going to start opening this stuff because y'all can't even see and it's kind of pointless. I did pick this up. Now, honestly, I may end up using the backpack for clinical and using this for just my everyday go to class bag is actually a purse or a tote rather. Um, and I got it off of Amazon and this also had like 50,000 reviews and it's super inexpensive. And I actually saw one of my favorite YouTubers um, do a what's in my bag and she had one of these except for it was just a different color. Um, oh, that's strill, strill. That smell is strong. It's like that factory smell. But yeah. But yeah. So I may just use this as like a day-to-day -day like class bag. And just use my backpack as like a clinical bag. But like it's actually quite large. Um, I just got it in this cute little brown color. And I love the tassel on there. So I may end up just putting like my computer in here. Um, my iPad. And like my little personal toiletry bag that I carry around everywhere, but yeah. All right, so I did pick up a new toiletry bag because I want to make sure that I keep things on hand that I may need. So like feminine products, um, 
hand sanitizer, hand lotion, things like that. So I went ahead and picked up a new bag. And honestly, I did not know it was this big. Um, I got it from Amazon and it's actually quite large <laughs> for like a toiletry bag. Like I wanted something smaller, but that's okay. Cause it'll just kind of give me free up space in my purse. So I don't, I'm not just throwing things in my purse. I can just throw it in here and keep everything very secure and private. Cute. Um, but yeah, it's very, very roomy, very spacious in there. Yeah, super cute though. And I probably will go get it monogrammed before I go with just like, maybe just my initial right here. Like I probably won't get my full name or anything, but just something so it's not so plain. All right, the next thing that I got is a lunchbox. Anybody who knows anything about me knows that I love to eat at home. I'm not really big on eating out, never. I, I guess I was when I was younger, but ever since I like have been living on my own for like the last few years, I just cook myself. Um, So I knew that this investment would actually be something that I would use because I pack my lunch. Like I just, I always have um, ever since I started like working and living on my own. So I just got this cute um, lunchbox. It's kind of like a, ro um, a crumpled paper bag. It's so cute and it's insulated. It comes with um, obviously the straps on the top of the bag. It's actually quite sizey or sizable, I guess I should be saying. And then it buttons on the sides to, eat, to open it up even more. And then, of course, it uh, Velcros across the top. Like, it's very secure, y'all. And then it unzips. And like I said, it is very well insulated. Very nice, y'all. Very nice. And then it came with a spoon. It's actually a heavy-duty spoon, honey. This ain't plastic. And it also comes with a one-year warranty. Okay, little Amazon company. But like, I actually really, really like this bag, um, this lunchbox. I'm actually really excited to use it. It's so cute. And it came in a couple of different colors as well. Um, and it did, of course, come in the standard like brown paper bag type um, color. I went ahead and purchased my scrubs. So, I told you guys some things I hadn't gotten. So, our school requires like maroon scrubs. So, I went ahead and purchased two pairs of the Mandala scrubs. This is the one pocket. I wanted the six pocket top, but this is the one pocket. It's actually a little bit big, but I was like okay with it. But, um, and I think I got in a large. Yeah, and the large is a little big on me, but it's still super cute. I'm just going to tuck the shirt in. Um, but they were out of the six pocket top. So I just purchased two of the one pocket tops and I went ahead and just got what pants, um, the cargo pants. Yeah, I went ahead and got the cargo pants. So they are, um, spill repellent, antimicrobial moisture wicking. Um, they have four way stretch and they're wrinkle free. So I went ahead and got these. Um, the one thing I didn't like about these, um, so much so that I actually ordered some other pans. So like, I, I'm going to keep these cause it wasn't like a huge deal breaker, but, um, and I will insert a clip, but when I tried them on the pockets kind of like poked out and I just did not like that. Um, it was weird, but yeah, so I got two of the one pocket scrub tops and then two of the cargo pants, but I did see that they had restocked the six pocket tops, so I went back and ordered two of the six pocket tops. So now I have four tops, and then I ordered two more bottles from Scrubs and more. They just have not come in yet. Um, so yeah, but I did still leave them linked in the description box below. Uh, so yeah, so I did get a pair of protective eyewear glasses. Um, obviously everyone in like the medical field has heard about stockles. I'm not paying $40 for 
for a pair of glasses that don't have a prescription in it. I'm just not gonna do it personally. I'm, I'm really just not, okay? Um, so uh, I went on Amazon and I just got a cute little dupe. I'm trying to get it open, there it is. Um, and it came with um, like a glasses, like a leather like glasses bag and um, a wipe or a little cloth. And I just got them in this cute little like rose pink color, y'all. They're so adorable. Let me see if these will fit over my eyelashes because I need to know which lashes I can and can't wear to school. There you go. So cute, y'all. These are not, I think they said that they were like, um, what do you call it? Uh, like blue light glasses, but I don't really think that they are, but they do just come to the size. I may end up ordering another pair from a different company to see if they um, come all the way like to my skin, but these do come pretty far back. I do like them. They're super cute. Um, and I actually may end up getting a pair of my real glasses in this uh, type of frame, but they're super cute. I really, really like them. And they're actually very comfortable. And these are actually the kid size. Um, but yeah. So, and they were only like $6. They weren't expensive at all. To go along with these little glass or soggles dupe, I just bought a glasses case. It's just like a cute little like brown and white marble. It's super cute. And it just comes with um, a cloth. No, that's not a cloth. That's a glasses case, my bad. But it just comes with that. Super cute. And then, this is not a wearable, but I should have put it in my nurse's um, equip or essentials. I just got a stethoscope case. It is the white and rose gold. Everyone, well, almost everyone has this case from Amazon. If you know, you know. I went ahead and just picked it up as well. And I got these cute little badge reels i am for sure gonna go back and order some plain ones just in case they get a little bit mm, about the types of badge reels that we have on our um ids but these just came with like 12 different um badges or badge reels um it's like one with a syringe one with a band-aid one with the heart one with the lungs um i want to say they have the thirds on here um they one has a heart with a um echocardiogram on there a brain, just a bunch of little cute little uh, healthcare type things. Alrighty, the last two things are probably the two things that I am the most excited about completely. Like, um, also I did order my nursing uh, books, but not gonna share those on here. Every school requires different things and they are just too freaking heavy for me to be getting up going to go get them, honestly. But these are also two books, but they're not nursing books, technically. Well, not like textbooks. The first one is the RN Explained Comprehensive Nursing Bundle. Y'all, when I tell you I am so freaking happy I got my hands on this, I have heard so many good things. I actually, actually, <clears throat> so she, I found her on TikTok. And she just is always like making little videos about like how to make certain things about your, the job easier, um, how to um, simplify like certain nursing concepts. But I actually watched her, watched her for um, a lot of A&P concepts. And then when I saw that she had this and I looked at all of the reviews, thousands of re reviews, she, this girl still has a five star rating on this. And I was like, what? And then I kind of looked at like a little uh, tester of the different um, options. And you don't have to get the comprehensive bundle. You can actually just buy a unit. But I went ahead and got the whole bundle on the front end so that as I'm going through the program. So this takes you all the way through nursing, basically. It's not like something that you would have to get every semester. Um, but this, as, you, as I go, I got it because... As I'm going through the program, I can, okay, go in, study myself, and then go look at her, like, simplifications of it. The last thing is I'm even more excited for than um, the nursing school bundle. So, in a previous video, I mentioned 
that one thing about me is that I think it was actually my most recent video but one thing about me is that I am super big on planning I have to know things well in advance so I went ahead and picked up my planner for the new year and I wanted to purchase this planner I actually saw um one of the nurses I follow here on YouTube um, I saw it in what's in her, uh, what's in her bag, and I had already planned on getting a similar planner from um, Happy Planner, um, and they're like fifty dollars. But once I learned that this was a black-owned company, I was like, yeah, sold. And once I saw like how detailed the planner was, absolutely, I went ahead and purchased it. So this planner, they have a couple of different options. I think they have three different planners. This planner was $57, and I'm not even going to lie. Yes, that is pricey, but it come, I think it's well worth it. I, I really do. And planners are really what you make it, but the, the options that you have with this planner makes it worth it to me. So, oh, so it comes with this magnetic like um, bookmark and then this cute little pen. So the company is called... Um, the booked store and then the planner that i got is the booked and busy planner so it is they do have an academic planner they have the booked and busy planner and then they have like a deluxe planner um i know the deluxe is like 62 dollars i'm not sure how much the academic planner is but i got the booked and busy because i'm combining not just academics but i'm planning my days in general so that's school that's work and that's youtube so I went ahead and got something that I could do all of those things with. Okay guys, so I didn't film an outro today, but I just wanted to jump back on and really quickly thank you all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content on my channel. And if you are just willing to watch me as I go through this journey through nursing school. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, please feel free to leave a comment listing items that you highly recommend for a nursing program or things that you suggest to stay away from. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Just got in town, and I won't let you